Hi Runners, how's it going? I am Pippen from Runners Talk and in this video I tell you what is the best GPS watch if you just start running. I searched hours and hours on the internet to find the answer on that question. And in this video I tell you all about it and well if you watch this video you don't have to spend your time on the internet to find the answer because I did it especially for you. I do all the uh, GPS watches who are in the market and I think they are the most interesting and I do it for all the budgets. And on the end of this video I tell you also which GPS watch I personally buy and why. But let's dive into it, let's start. Before we dive into all these GPS watches, I think it's important to tell you that I don't get paid for this video and that nobody sees this video before I upload it to YouTube. It are just my thoughts, my experience and I share it with you as a runner so that you can decide for yourself which GPS watch you want to buy and which budget. Okay guys, if you are really on a budget, let me say you can spend around $100. I really think you have to look at the Polo M200. It's around $109, I found that on Amazon, and it's from Polo, a famous brand from Finland. And the company was something about 40 years ago, the first company to bring on the market a heart rate monitor. So they are really good. And well, if you look at that watch, it gives you a lot of value. Okay guys, it's almost Christmas time, almost holiday time and maybe you're gonna ask Santa for a big present or maybe your mom or maybe your girlfriend, whatever. But I think it's very important if you wanna buy a GPS watch or ask Santa that you answer one big question and that is do you want a sport watch or do you want a smart watch? There is really a difference between them and I think it's very important to think for yourself which one you prefer. It depends what you like, but also what you're looking for. I explain to you. If you uh, are looking to the smartwatches, they're more daily life watches. They are smoother in design and they have not always the, all the functionalities of a sport watch. And if you look into a sport watch, most of the time they are not so smooth designed and they have really big data you can get out of it. And well, it's really designed for sporters, for runners, cyclists or swimmers. And there's really a difference in the market between that kind of sort of watches. So I think it's important to think for yourself to answer that question so that you buy the right watch for yourself. I think at this moment there are three great options. The Apple Watch SE and also the Fitbit Sense and the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. I think there are three great options if you want to buy um, a smartwatch and you are already in an ecosystem. Okay, if you look into the market, in my opinion, if you're looking for a running watch, you have three great options. And you have the Chorus Page 2, the Garmin Forerunner 245 Music and also the Polar Avantage M2. In my opinion, that are the best uh, watches for your money. I mean, they have the biggest value, in my opinion. If you're looking to the Chorus Page 2, it's an interesting watch. When it came out to the market, it was, well, the lightest uh, watch into the market. It only weighs 29 grams, and that's insane. I mean, it's a watch, it's a GPS watch with all functionality, just 29 grams. The watch offers you a lot. I mean, you get a lot of value out of the watch and the watch is around $200. So I think it's a really nice price. If you're looking to all the futures, there are also a special feature. I mean, if you like to run on tracks, 400 meters, then most of the times you have some problems with GPS. They don't make a nice curves. And this watch just does it very well. The Garmin 245 Music is a great watch for all the runners who love to listen to music during your run. Um, you can put some music on the watch and then you can listen music and leave your phone at home. 
The watch gives you about 23 hours of uh, battery life, but it's only in GPS mode. It's not when you're listening to the music. The feature that I really love about this watch is the Pace Pro. It gives you an indication how your pace is doing a race. You get no turn to turn navigation. You get navigation on the watch, but not turn to turn navigation. That is by Garmin only for the expensive watches. Other great option, in my opinion, is the Polar Vantage M2. It's a multi-sport watch. It means that you can yeah, track all kinds of sports. It has a very good heart rate monitor. And when you charge it full, you get 30 hours out of the watch. And you also get the Flow app. It's the ecosystem, the app of Polar, and you can see it on the phone, but also on the desktop. And it gives you a lot of information about data. So if you like to see your data or work with data and training, the Flow app is really a good option. Okay, friends, if Santa is coming and, well, you get a present and it's not your money, you are maybe can look into the really, really expensive watches. What I mean by that is that, well, it's about 500 till 700 dollars. I mean, that's a lot of money. And in my opinion, it's insane. I mean, you can buy a computer for that money. And it's basically if you just start running, these are not watches you have to buy because, well, it's insane what the prices are. But if you look into the market, there are some great options. You have the Forerunner uh, 945, it's a great watch. You will have the Polar Vantage M2. You have the Sunto uh, 9 and you also have the Coros Vantage 2 and also the Garmin uh, Enduro. That are really, really the top of the bill if you like to all that watches who are expensive and do a lot of things. I mean, they have great battery life, they have music, all that kind of stuff. It's into that watches. But what I say, they come with a big, big price. And in my opinion, it's ridiculous to pay them. But if you really ask me, what is the best option in the market? In my opinion, that is the Phoenix 6 Pro. And it's a Garmin watch. And well, through all the years, through all the re reviews, you see that, that that is really a great option. And in my opinion, it's interesting because it's a bit of an older watch by the watches I tell before. So from now on, the price is a bit go down. So that's interesting to look on it. I found it around $500. So it's an interesting uh, watch if you really want a big one. Okay, runners, at the end of this video, I will tell you what is, in my opinion, the best running watch if you just start running. In my opinion, if you really like running and you do a little investment, let me say about $300, in my opinion, you have to buy then uh, the Garmin Forerunner 245 Music. If you look good to all my videos, you could see it because I have that watch by myself and I have it now for a year and I really like the watch. I also did a review about the watch, so if you want to see that, click then over here. What is the watch and why do I like the watch? It's first of all the price. I mean, it's not so big, it's not, it's not cheap, it's not expensive, but it's a middle range, but you get a lot of things out of the watch. The only thing you do not get, in my opinion, out of the watch is turn to turn navigation. But all the other features you get out of the watch. I mean, you get music, you get a lot of data and you get also the Garmin Connect system ecosystem and that's great if you really like to see data and do some analyzation you have to have to look to the Garmin Connect app in my opinion it's one of the best on the market at the end of this video I really want to thank you for watching and if you have any comments you can leave them down below see you in the next video and keep on running